How's it going guys? We have a medium difficulty question for pharmacology neuro step one, step two. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, and EHL man underscore medical links down below. I mean, telegram links to the telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 33 year old woman. She's had a one week history, unpredictable urge to void accompanied by running to the bathroom eight to 12 times daily. Blurry vision of her left eye as well. Physical exam shows decreased visual acuity in the left eye. There is mild spasticity in both arms and clonus of the left foot. An MRI of the brain is shown. Intravenous pharmacotherapy is initiated following resolution, which the following agents is most likely to decrease recurrence of this patient's symptoms. So we have a past level diagnosis of multiple sclerosis here, okay? You need to know clonus is an upper motor neuron finding. That's when you get uh, repeated beats of the of either a hand or foot okay it's just you got to be aware of that and uh this blurry vision here is going to be optic neuritis okay any changes with the eye it can be um decreased visual acuity as in this case could be changes in color vision could be a, a central scotoma it's not just optic neuritis okay inflammation of cranial nerve two but tangentially multiple sclerosis you need to be aware of medial longitudinal fasciculus syndrome aka internuclear ophthalmoplasia which is when you look to one side, you cannot AD duct with one of the eyes, okay? It's a long fucking discussion. I don't wanna go on that crazy tangent right now, but you just need to know optic neuritis as well as MLF syndrome or two eye findings you can get in MS and also urgent continence, okay, exceedingly high yield. Some students have asked me about overflow incontinence in MS that apparently some uh, resources say different things. I've only ever seen urgent continence on NBME questions for multiple sclerosis. It shows up all over the place on 2CK content. I have never once seen overflow incontinence for MS, okay? And by the way, it's not necessarily a scenario either where you have to memorize. Is it going to be, just tell me, Michael, is it gonna be urge? Is it going to be overflow? I said urge if in a vacuum, but if you get a fucking question where they tell you she's been unable to urinate and she has a post void volume of 400 milliliters, you should have a post void volume under 50 to 75 milliliters. That's going to be overflow incontinence. So you have to use your fucking head, but it's urgent incontinence almost always, as I said. MRI is gold standard for diagnosis, and they're going to show us white matter plaques. I just Google image white matter plaques MS. That's what these arrows are pointing to, apparently. You can also do a CSF analysis showing IgG oligoclonal bands. Okay. Lengthy tangent. Okay, I can go on, but. MRI is gold standard for diagnosis. So multiple sclerosis here, right? It's a T cell attack against uh, oligodendrocytes. If you're forced to choose a cell, you're gonna choose oligodendrocytes. Don't confuse it with attack against Schwann cells, which would be Guillain-Barre syndrome. So it can be a T cell attack against oligodendrocytes. It can be a T cell attack against myelin basic protein. I've seen that in one of the NBME exams. So if you had to choose a hypersensitivity type, you would choose uh, type four because T cell mediated. So women, women twenties to thirties. Okay, uh, classically Caucasian, relapse and remitting, uh, far from the equator. So let's just whip through the answer choice here. Uh, what would we give the decreased recurrence? Baclofen. Wrong fucking answer. You need to know baclofen is for spasticity. Okay. Now I'll talk about when we say recurrence. I'm talking about general uh, recurrence of overall MS flares. All right, so spasticity can be used acutely in this case, uh, or baclofen can be used acutely for spasticity in this case. Nothing to do with recurrence, okay? So um, it's a GABA B receptor agonist. They like that. There's an old NBME question where they give you spasticity and multiple sclerosis, and they say uh, an agent with which of the following uh, binding sites would uh, mitigate the spasticity, and they had Answers like nicotinic receptor, muscarinic receptor, et cetera. The answer was GABA. Holy shit. Okay, so GABA B receptor agonist. US really likes that. And you're aware of baclofen for spasticity. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, cyclophosphamide. Wrong fucking answer. So general hard-hitting immunosuppressant. Almost always wrong in terms of use cases. Okay, so when we talk about the hard-hitting general immunosuppressants, mycophenolate mofetil, azathioprine, 6 mercaptopurine, 5 fluorouracil cyclophosphamide. They're all just hard-hitting miscellaneous agents that are generally used last resort in people who have autoimmune diseases that are refractory to other therapies first, okay? So US simile doesn't really assess you on use cases of the hard-hitting immunosuppressants as much as they do sometimes the mechanism of action. Cyclophosphamide is a guanine N7 alkylating agent, holy shit. You could just memorize it. 
Uh, and also it can cause hemorrhagic cystitis, red urine. Okay, so it can liberate a toxic metabolite called acrolein, which is toxic to the epithelium of the bladder. You can give mesna, which has a thiol group, a sulfur atom, an SH group, which can mitigate the toxicity. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Should I see interferon beta? Correct answer. So I don't really know what to tell you. This is what happens on the NBME exam. They literally give you uh, an NMS flare. It's treated with steroids, okay? So uh, for the actual acute flare, you're going to give intravenous methylprednisolone, which is presumably what was given here. So if they ask you, this is important, all right? If they ask you how to treat an acute flare, the correct answer is intravenous steroids, okay? They're probably not going to obsess over oral versus IV, but if you have to choose, you're going to choose intravenous, okay? So intravenous methylprednisolone corticosteroid. However, for decreasing the recurrence of flares, beta interferon, interferon beta, I've seen on an NBME exam, just ask straight up, just like this. So if you think it's weird, if you say, Michael, couldn't other drugs be used, etc.? Not my fucking opinion. Take it up with the NBME exam, all right? So interferon beta is just an immunosuppressant. Uh, just be aware that the use case that NBME wants you to know is prevents recurrence of multiple sclerosis. Okay, so let's just quickly whip the other answer choices. Choice D, methotrexate, wrong fucking answer now. Okay, methotrexate could, in theory, be used for MS, but it's not a classic treatment. It's not first line, okay? it's But uh, you could be aware, all right, that it's used for rheumatoid arthritis, first line DMARD. That's the highest yield use case for USMLA, all right? So rheumatoid arthritis, uh, it's the first line DMARD. For rheumatoid arthritis, symptoms only, NSAIDs followed by steroids, but for uh, to slow the progression of the disease, we use DMARDs, disease-modifying antirheumatic drugs. Methotrexate is the first drug we use. You have somebody also wants you to know methotrexate is, is the first-line agent used orally, oftentimes for psoriasis, okay? That fails uh, topical management, topical with calcipotrine, vitamin D derivative, topical steroids like triamcinolone, topical coal tar. Uh, you go on to orals uh, such as methotrexate. I've seen that asked directly on the NBME exam, okay? Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, profenadone, obscure drug, wrong fucking answer. So actually, I actually spelled this wrong. Doesn't fucking matter because it's fucking wrong, all right? So profenadone uh, is actually an anti-fibrotic agent that is used first line for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. I made another uh, YouTube clip on this anecdotally. I mean, I've heard that this shows up on the USMLA. Okay, so student says, holy shit, you're not going to believe it. Uh, some weird drug called profenadone uh, was asked as treatment for uh, pulmonary fibrosis. And you want to go look it up online? You say, never fucking heard of it before? All right, go ask ChatGPT what first line for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is. Go, go look it up on Wikipedia. So perfenadone, antifibrotic agent, can be used for the treatment of uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, aka usual interstitial pneumonitis (UIP). You need to know the latter UIP is on the is on the new NBME exams twice. Okay, that's how they can write idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.